uh, the whole idea behind this uh, sectoral uh, webinar is we are getting a lot of questions from students time to time when they're trying to know more about these uh, programs and they are uh, really wanting to know uh, how good they are, would they fit, uh, what is the kind of uh, opportunities that a student can get. Uh, and uh, sometimes you come from a place of fear as to uh, whether this would be good enough for your career and sometimes from a space of curiosity. So we are trying to see how we can uh, you know, address both of this in today's seminar, which is the media and entertainment program. As they say, you know, uh, nothing, uh, nothing works better than uh, a tinge of happiness and uh, uh, some happy entertainment and media in our lives. Uh, I think oh, during COVID, all of us realized the value of this particular sector in keeping our minds sane and how much must have gone into making that happen, COVID or not, no COVID. Uh, we all switched on our sets to something and business was on. Uh, the internet work, content was there. A lot goes beyond this. So I'm going to invite Dr. Aparna Kare from the Media Entertainment Program. She leads the program. And we have uh, uh, Dr. Aparna, who do we have from the student side? We have Vishnu, is it? And we have Pratamesh. Oh yes, we have Pratamesh and Vishnu. Thank you both of you for uh, being in today's session. And uh, my kickoff question, uh, Dr. Aparna, is going to be, you know, when you say media and entertainment, is this about the creative content? What, what does this program offer? Uh, to a student and what qualities do you look for uh, in a pro in a student who's you know wanting to be part of this uh, program so over to you you can begin from there and take it ahead thank you thank you so much dr deepa i hope i'm audible yes absolutely yeah so as you stated then uh, that uh, during the covid this was the biggest failure for people and took care of everyone's mindset you know kept people alive and he healthy and hearty you know Yes, this is a sunrise sector. And uh, by 2030, the sector is looking forward to be 100, uh, you know, USD dollars, 100 billion USD dollars and something like that. And so this is a constantly growing sector. But the very interesting part before I talk about the qualities or something about what students should have, I would like to tell you that today in terms of technology and digitization, it has become a fun, uh, and we all know how digitization and technology has become a, a fundamental tool for basic functioning across industries. And that, leads, that is where the media industry leads, is the sector leads. The sector takes care of all possible industries by giving them effective digitization and a technology support and a very interesting media platform. Earlier companies used to uh, struggle to get into get through the communication done through print, radio, or television. But with the advent of digitization, it has become very interesting for companies. And technology and digitization is supporting, and that's where all our students in media entertainment sector from the media entertainment program are able to make their way for all possible given industries. It is they are not restricted to be working with only television, only radio, or only OTT or something, they can have a broad, you know, perspective of career for themselves. If you have, and if the student has a passion, breaking into the media entertainment sector, it is not at all difficult. Uh, the PGD Media and Entertainment two years program certainly makes them very skilled in terms of understanding all possible uh, facets of management pro aspects as well as giving them an opportunity to study programs, subjects like media planning, brand management, integrated marketing communication, advanced digital marketing, content management, analytics, which is again a key aspect in today's time is where the focus is lying for today's students. PR uh, and all such kind of subjects. Of course, social media, the social media management, so all of these things where we are training our students and so they are able to understand the sector very well and they're able to get into the sector very well. So just uh, having a very effective passion a, and a flair towards learning a uh, offered program is very important. 
having that interest towards the management program and being very very uh, agile in terms of learning what is being offering being offered because this industry everything is changing very fast with the digitization every second day there is something new coming in and that's where we want to keep the pace and that's what we offer to our students so they have to be very agile in terms of learning what we are offering to them so this course is certainly very helpful for them to grasp the commercial side of the media sector and prepares one's career in branding advertising digital marketing corporate communication or to name a few uh that's great so uh, it's wonderful you know to know that uh, media as we imagine it and uh, in the kind of roles that it has uh, there's so much more so uh, people with the technology background wanting to get into this sector have a lot of scope people with a mindset to do uh, analysis of data people who may have a consulting mindset uh, can find options through this sector if they find the sector interesting so i'm going to at this point in time you know uh, leave the floor open to uh, prathamesh and vishnu uh, if you can come alive and uh, prathamesh has some work experience as well before joining the media and entertainment program so uh, prathamesh uh, would you like to uh, go for it so while he comes alive you can take a look at this slide the kind of career opportunities are in brand marketing consumer research business strategy content business digital media sales client servicing and the uh, sectors you can look at some of the companies which are put out here ibm which is fully technology uh, ad factors pr reliance retail fever 104 bike dance which was earlier uh, the tiktok company and now it, it now of course uh, it shut down but then you have other similar companies like glance which look for them imai and uh, there's another which i'm not even okay so uh, we also have z uh, entertainment, yeah. Viacom, which we missed out here uh, in the logo. Uh, it's one of the, uh, Viacom is, I think, uh, uh, Dr. Apana, one of the most sought after recruiters for anybody in the media and entertainment uh, world, I think, right? One Absolutely. of the best uh, best places to work, right? Best places to work as a company and the best package to be offered to the students and innovative profiles which come to them, come from them. Right. So many okay. of our well, uh, we school students are part of Viacom and have made really made great uh, and doing phenomenal there. Yeah. So uh, you know, uh, Shimaru, uh, the CEO of the company, is uh, a Wellingar alumni. We have uh, the vice president of Z, Adi Shri, who's also a Wellingar alumni, and she's a very senior person in that uh, particular uh, sector, handling a very big budget. Uh, one of the highest uh, replacements in the media entertainment program this year has been uh, Nirali Mehta with TransUnion uh, Sybil, which is more in the, uh, you know, in the space of finance. And the average year you can see so far has been about 12.81, which is again closer to 13. So any doubt which you may have ever had about, you know, the opportunities that you can get through sectoral programs uh, and you know, mentally be comparing it with the PGDM core that can be put to rest. So, if this is a sector that's of your interest, you should go for it. So, uh, Prathamesh, are you ready to go? Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm hope I hope I'm uh, visible and audible. Yes, you're audible and visible. Great. Yeah, and uh, we, so uh, love your mustache. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, thank you, ma'am, for uh, having me uh, on this session today evening. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, myself, Prathamesh Rege, I'm currently uh, a second year student uh, in the PGDM Media and Entertainment uh, uh, batch. Uh, to give you all a brief uh, background about myself, uh, I did my undergraduation in films, television and media production from Mumbai itself. Um, I then worked uh, for a couple of years uh, in a PR agency uh, where I was uh, an associate consultant there handling multiple clients in the media sector. Um, post that, during my stint, uh, as uh, the PR consultant, I got to uh, you know talk with a lot of marketing leads uh, of my clients mostly. And that's when I realized that how important management has become in media today. Uh, so when I spoke with uh, you know these marketing leads, uh, they were the ones who actually inspired me to kind of take up um, you know a management, uh, an MBA or a PGDM. Um, and uh, I was very clear about one thing, and that was the fact that I wanted media and media only. 
um so uh, when i was looking for options you know that i could pursue into an mba in media uh, i think belinker almost topped that list because um, uh, i mean if you look at everything i mean the amount of opportunities that uh, we school provides uh the, the packages that uh, you know one gets um, uh, from b school everything you know just fit the criteria and i had absolutely no doubt that you know this was going to be my topmost option uh so post uh, selection um, it's been a wonderful uh, journey of the last one and a half years uh, to be very honest um i have had multiple opportunities uh, i am extremely thankful uh, to all my faculties uh to the college the institute and uh, dr salukya sir for actually giving me so many of uh, you know those uh, opportunities in the last one and a half year um to begin with actually i got selected uh, as the general secretary of my batch um more of which i think you will uh, understand uh, once you join the uh, college but uh, what that gave me is you know an array of opportunities where i could uh, you know lead i could understand how management works from up close you know working with the faculties working with my uh classmates my team uh, so all of that kind of uh, has inculcated into you know making me who i am today uh, be it management lessons be it uh, you know proactiveness initiative everything has kind of worked uh, uh, towards that you know end goal of being a good manager um another i think one of the very very important opportunities uh, of my i'd say life uh, was the fact that i got selected uh, to represent our college uh, at the london school of economics uh, the very prestigious institute i'm sure all of uh, you must be aware um, i got to uh, attend classes um, in london uh, at the institute uh, and you know it was a life changing experience for me to be very honest um, some really nice uh, networking that i could do there some really great friends that i could make uh, from from you know from outside of india and uh, you know the time that i spent at the london school of economics was something i will always carry with me for the rest of my life uh, so truly grateful uh, to be school for that um, and apart from it i think like uh, my other colleagues have mentioned you know uh, right from global citizen leadership uh, to a lot of other uh, projects our summer internships the kind of uh, uh, i'd like to mention here uh, the fact that uh, you know the media program we do also keep a lot of these media fire sessions Uh, wherein we uh, invite our alumni who are who have made it big uh, in the media sector uh, we invite them we also invite other uh, uh, you know dignitaries from the media sector to come and share their knowledge to share their experience with all our students and that's been of immense help uh, to i think not just me but to everybody who's been able to attend those sessions uh, so all in all i'd say uh, it's been a truly uh, enriching and wonderful experience for me personally uh you know these last one and a half years and i i i completely give all that credit to all my faculties and uh, the institute so thank you so much for uh, this thank you thank you prasamesh uh, is vishnu there yes yes hi hi uh so uh, good evening everyone first of all uh, extremely happy to be here uh thank you everyone for having me also uh i'd like to say like you know i'm taken back to uh, a year and a half back when i was on the listening part of this well i was also watching all the webinars reading everything upon the internet to make sure i make the right decision and uh, i think all the faculties and the students have uh, already expressed all the usps that the v school v school and uh, the courses have so i just want to take a minute to uh, put in some personal uh, you know experiences about from when i started when i decided to join and uh, how it has been after i've been here so uh, the two things that sealed the deal for me and made me choose wellinger was uh, one uh, the potential exposure i'd get in this campus and this institution and two the flexibility that the course offered like my, i'm talking about pgdm uh, media and entertainment so uh, when i say first exposure one of the key factors which uh, back then my friends thought i was being crazy was that i really liked the fact that the campus had around 840 students in one year and around close to 1700 students across two years and i thought that was just like if anywhere i have to go and have peer to peer learning this is probably the place where i have to be and i am somebody with four years of work ex also so i thought the biggest learning i need to have in my post graduation is peer to peer learning and uh, having nine courses in one campus with so many students coming from different backgrounds that sealed the deal for me the second when it comes to exposure was the fact the faculties the profile of the faculties and the number of guest lectures 
and experts from the industry who come to our campus to give us their knowledge also. And this goes again proven right after I started my college where every month we've had like at least two or three people come in and give us their uh, knowledge. And the second was the course and the flexibility that it offers. Now, uh, Prathamesh, uh, you know, gave you one side of uh, somebody who joined the course wanting to get into media itself. I was a little bit more confused when I joined the course. I was not sure, you know, if I want to go into media, although I did a bachelor's in arts and multimedia, I was still open to exploring more opportunities. And the course gave me enough, let's say, leverage to explore other functions as well, be it marketing, branding, uh, HR, operations, finance, everything. And I eventually after my first two trimesters, realized what I want to get into. And this clarity came from studying the first trimester covers all the fundamentals of basic management courses. And that one trimester gave me so much clarity on, okay, this is what I want to do. And eventually I ended up getting into an internship, a summer internship with in the same sector that I wanted to be in. And I was successfully con converted that into a placement offer as well. Uh, so yeah, I mean, uh, I had a set of expectations when I joined V School, and I can confidently say that V School has delivered over and beyond what my expectations was, and I'm truly grateful uh, to be a part of this wonderful institution. Thank you, Vishnu. Uh, Deepa, ma'am, do I have a minute to speak? Yes, yes, please. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, so, students, yes. uh, all the aspiring students, I just want to add a few lines here that the world of work is constantly changing and the media industry is equally constantly changing and bringing in all possible uh, innovative and new aspects in the their process of working. So those, in this, those of you interested in joining a creative industry, those of you who are interested in uh, communication roles, those, who are, those of you who are interested in having uh, co actually combining innovation and fun those who are, of you are interested in having a career in digital content and social media interested in brand management interested in pr advertising print broadcast radio etc this is the only program where you can actually have a platter of career opportunities so that's what i would like to say ma'am over to you Thank you. Thank you, Aparna ma'am. And uh, I think there's a small lag uh, from ma'am's side. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Uh, yeah. Safe, but uh, thanks, Vishnu, because, uh, you know, your, your space is the kind of space that most of the students are in where or that so thanks for sharing that journey of yours and with four years of experience if you can be in that place i'm sure a lot of freshers will be super confused about so many different options and sometimes they're afraid about what what we could land into so uh, what you uh, put out there i'm sure from that if they also connect with you and, and uh, you know uh, talk to you so uh, thank you very much uh, the, to the media and entertainment uh, team here uh, for sharing what the program can offer and what are the opportunities.